Do you know what is the difference between suspended and sleeping processes? Let's learn that today. Hi there, this is Pinal Dave and welcome all of you to this another episode of SQL in the 60 second. During consultation, I often get lot of question related to process and their status. For example, if you run this query, which is on the screen, you may get result like this. There is a column here, which is status. And now the question is what each of these status means. Let's see the screen with three important resources. First one is thread. Second one is CPU and third one is with disk. Now let's talk about pending status of processes. What pending means is that process have no threads as well as no CPU. So it is just waiting for both of them to be available. The next one is runnable. In case of the runnable process, it has thread, but it does not have CPU. So it is essentially waiting for CPU to be available. The next one is running. This is what we all like, isn't it? It means process has thread as well as CPU and running, but there is small detail, which is also related to running, which I'll talk about a little bit later. The one next to it is suspended. This is when process is actually waiting for some event to get completed. Maybe there is a lock or maybe IO is not available. Now the next one is sleeping and I get a lot of questions about it. Sleeping means the process is not doing anything and waiting for further commands. It quite possible it has done everything what it has to complete and now waiting for further instructions. Now if you are going to ask me is it okay to kill the sleeping sessions or not that I will answer in future video. Now is the time to talk about the dormant processes. That essentially means SQL Server is resetting that process. The next status is background status and this is something we user do not care much. These are the essentially processes which SQL Server is running behind the scene in the background. If you have a lot of background process, that's matter of concern, but most of the time this is pretty all right. Now we reach to the very last one and the most complicated one and that is about spin lock. Spin lock essentially means that query is in kind of running mode where it is busy waiting in CPU for its own turn. Now if this is confusing, don't worry about it. We'll talk about that in the future. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, share and comment to this video. I read every single comment and answer each of you. With that, I'll see you soon in another episode of SQL in the 60 seconds. Stay tuned for one last tip after the outro. In the video's description, I have provided link to blog post which will tell you what you can do if you have lots of sleeping sessions.